go. Yep. All right, everybody. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the Interweb Worlds. Ryan here, Mr. Owls Gaming, and we've got a good one on this Tuesday night. Thank you for joining us. And thank you to friend of the show and regular, semi-regular, what you've been playing Wednesday. <laughs> you contribute Reg more than I do. You contribute more Reg than I regular do. When I, regular when I don't forget to upload segments, yeah. you know. <laughs> Chris Morris, who is no stranger to the stream. I believe this is number three, I think. Something like you. that. Something yeah, like that. Something like yeah. that. Do I get a star after five? Yeah, I'll give. I'll, I'll send you out the punch card. the The nice. tenth one. The tenth one. You nice. actually have to pay tenth. to be on here. Oh, okay. Well, we'll it's not the tenth it one. Nine. It's not the tenth one free. It's free. Yeah, the tenth one is. That's when the subscription kicks in. So, perfect. Yeah, it. it I, finally, I'm able to launch a two player February. Uh, I'm a, I'm a one stream late. We had a little bit of a COVID incident in the house here that delayed my stream from last Thursday. Chris from the another Chris from the Tabletop Express podcast. We were supposed to play so back, but we've rescheduled that one for in two weeks time. So be sure to check us out on that one. But this one is staying on schedule. I'm so, so glad that we're able to make this happen. And we have picked, or I guess you picked, I think you picked this one for us, and we picked Caper Europe. Yeah, I saw it on your list, and I jumped in as soon as possible to make sure I got a seat there. So That's... Uh, it's, a, it's a classic. It's a great game. A modern classic. Wow, and it's it's not even that old at this. <laughs> no, at, at this... I'm just going to call it a modern classic. I, I think I've played more games of this um, than I have of any other two-player game. Wow! High I'm praise. not good. At, I'm not good at it, oh. but I've played more <laughs> games of it. So, yeah. So I I just recently discovered this one last month. I uh, was playing a few games online. Somebody mentioned that this was on that this was online, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll check it out. And we had actually hopped. I actually hopped into a game. Never even read the rules. <laughs> just hopped into a game, and I was like, started clicking. Like, oh, I know exactly what's going on. I I, and I I like I like games like that. Like it was very intuitive of what it was asking us to be able to do. Yeah, it's it's super easy to pick up and uh, just a lot of a uh, lot of fun gameplay. And it begs that let's have another, let's yep. have another. Yeah. So yeah, I've got it jotted down. I don't know if you signed up for this, but I'm jotting us down. We're gonna do a best of three. Oh, okay. We'll I do was, a best. I was of hoping three. that we weren't just gonna do one and done. So. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna get at least two games in. Excellent. And if, and if we're both savvy enough, we'll get that third one. <laughs> we'll get that third one in um, as as well. So excellent. I am going to swing our screen over to the uh, board game arena. I've got Chris's name there. I will fire up Caper. Hey. And oh, I can't change the. How come oh. I can't? How come I can't change this? Oh, it's it's okay. Random city. Okay. And right now it says scoring is public, so we can actually see our scores. Okay. Did you want that hidden? No, that's okay. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. I've played it both ways. I yeah. guess I guess if you're playing real time, what like on the table, you would actually have hidden scores. But I guess you can. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you'd kind of guess what everybody else, what the other guys doing at that point. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I'm gonna that's try true. to keep things on here. So I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of what's happening in this in this game here. We are these heist. We're, we're going on a heist. Yeah, we're heist masterminds. Heist masterminds. We're like these thieves. We are going to... <laughs> Ryan, I think this is your... Is this your brother, Ryan Morris? Yeah, that would be my little brother. Oh, okay. He says, looking forward to a big loss for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Thanks, bro. Much appreciated. Thanks for all the support. Yeah, yeah, nothing like it. Well, he's gonna—he's always gonna side with another Ryan, isn't he? So. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We got all us Ryans, you know, the most popular name in like the early to mid '80s. <laughs> yeah, well, and Chris, not far behind. Yeah. Um So yeah, my parents were real original. <laughs> well, we, we, like we we said in our household, like in 1983, Ryan was the most popular boy's name. Jennifer was the uh, most popular girl's name, and of course, I married a Jennifer. So. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I think. Uh, see, I'm. I'm like 
almost 10 years older than you, but I think Christopher was the most popular name the year I was born, and Ryan was like the second most popular the next year. So, yeah, yeah, Beauty. just just keeping keeping the stats going. Ryan says he's got money on this. I want to know who. Oh, that is. Is there like some sort of like side website like board game betting? Is this is some... the first I've heard about it, and he hasn't board... even. He didn't even. I mean, can I get in to, to lose? Because uh, <laughs> can I bet against myself? Pull an Ottawa Senators move here. What, so. What's the yeah? What's the, what's the over under? What's the over <laughs> under on the points being scored? Uh, total points. Uh, I'm gonna say. I, I, oh God, it's been so long since I played. Now, um, it's oh. like 75. A uh, a lowish score. That I would. So I played a game For of this. Players? I played a game of this this afternoon. And I think our total score was around seventy. So that okay. would probably right. be yeah, seventy five would be a good yeah. over under. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go seventy five. Perfect. Yeah. So we're gonna be playing down these thieves. I put the top here. We've got thieve cards, and we're gonna play them. So Chris has got a hand, and I have a hand. We're gonna play one, and then we're gonna do total seven wonder style. And just pass them back and forth between each other because it's a draft. We're just going to be drafting these cards onto our side. And so you can see up at the top, all these things, they all they do is something a little bit different. Um, this, my card is called the gentleman over here. And he's got a kind of like a set collecting thing going on. He, he wants He wants certain colors and he gets you some points. Anything that's a star is points. Um, anytime you see the little robber mask... That's going to put these little robber masks down along the middle. We got, oh, what city did they actually, they, oh, we're I Rome. Think we're in Rome, yeah. We are, when in Rome, yeah. when in Rome. And so Rob we got the these Vatican. locations. We got these location cards here. And we're going to be playing our thieves on these locations. And if they have these little mask icons, the little mask is going to pull towards our side. Kind of a little tug of war that's going on. And, of course, if the little robber mask is closer to our side at the end of the game, we're going to be able to take advantage of the points that that city is worth and the little special ability that the – sorry, the points that – there's some bonus points. That's what I'm trying to say is that there's some bonus <laughs> points that those cities are worth. And, of course, there's also these all these little artifacts and little goods that each of these locations have – and we're going to be able to claim those through certain card effects. And it's a little set collecting thing there. I think if you get a set of three of them, there's three different symbols. It's worth nine mm -hmm. points. Um, if you just get like runs of them, or if you get multiples, it's the same. I think there's something too that, oh no, there's something about like, if you have one of them, then if there's two of them or if there's three of them. Yeah. Yeah. So it scales up with that. So, and yeah, we're just going to do that. So we're going to pick some cards. So it says, I have to play a card. Oh, and they also have these little kind of numbers in these black circles. And those are going to get you some money because in the next phase of the game, we're going to have to equip our thieves with all their fancy gear. But some of that gear costs money to purchase. So we're going to actually have to have some of that. So I am actually going to select this guy right here. The Dawn. And I think the Dawn is going to have to go to the casino. All right. All right, so you're down there, hey? Okay, well, I'm going to play this card here, and we'll play her. The Soprano is going to hang out at Trevi Fountain. Mm -hmm. So her ability looks like every time that there's a uh, pink or a red card, which are going to come up in the next uh, in the next phase of the game, uh, it's going to pull that robber mask closer and closer to Chris's the side. And the pink cards are exclusive to the Rome set because each location has their own kind of theme to it. Oh, and that's the right. pink, yeah, the pink cards are Rome, Rome themed cards. So I don't think I've ever played in Rome before. Oh, this is all new okay. to me. Yeah. And I can see there's a little icon down in the bottom too that says that this card is from the Rome deck. And I think there's four. There's four locations in the game. Yeah. Yeah. So I get, I yeah, I moved the little thief counter one space every for every pink card that uh yeah every rome gear card that's played and then for every red gear card that's in my discard pile so oh, that's i will what be the trying to is. yeah yeah so that's another strategy to this is denying your opponent some stuff okay move yeah. the caper okay yeah okay i have another i just drafted a card or there's a card yeah. here yeah my hand was very different than yours very different interesting <laughs> And 
I see that one I have here is the cleaner. He's got something with the red cards, and the red cards are the ones that mess with your opponent. Yeah, they're they're not fun. They're, they're not well. Fun. They're fun. They're fun for you. They're fun for <laughs> not fun for your opponent. Um. Okay. Let's just try. Let's try this guy right here, and he can select a good. I will select one of these. Nice. So you played the smuggler. All right. Well, I'm going to take, I need some money. And as you saw, that other hand that I had did not have any money in it. It was very cruddy, cruddy. <laughs> it was very cruddy. So I think I'm going to take the mime and I'm going to throw the mime with the soprano um, just so that I can move that caper card a little bit there and load up that one location of it. Okay. And so I am left with the barber. Or the gentleman. The gentleman has got can get you lots of points, but you gotta have some very specific cards mm-hmm. to to draft. But you know what? I am just going to Brr. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I really don't know. What's that one? <laughs> yeah, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna do something that I normally don't do in this game and I'm gonna try that gentleman. Okay. Yeah, that's it's risky, but it can really pay off in the end. So yeah, because uh, okay, yeah, because because I've I've experienced that scores will be in somewhere in the mid to high thirties, even low forties. Has been my experience with some of these some yeah, of my games. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just loading up in the in wow uh, the, the fountain at this point here, um, and I'm kind of going against myself on this one where. The soprano wants me to discard red cards, and the cleaner wants red cards. So I'm just going to see what I can do with this. Um, but I only have two bucks to my name, which is not a and lot. of I money. only have. It says for me, I only have three dollars. Yeah, my name. you have three dollars. So that's not too too bad. But um, so now we're in the second phase of the game, where now we have yeah. all of these gear things that we can load up onto. And you can only play them onto your characters. And so right now, the Don here, he's only at this casino location. He's only at this casino location. So everything that I play with him pertains to that casino location. And you know what? What did you do? Oh, you went and got a So good. I played, yeah, I played a skeleton key. It cost me all of the money that I had. Money is really tight in this game. It is. Um, but it gave me the... Uh, gave me one go- one uh, of the goods of any kind. So I took the painting because there was one painting and three of these statues that were hanging out there. So Very good, very good. Yeah. So I look like I drew a hand that really helped me out because I have the plasma cutter, which allows me spend Ooh. $1, and I am I'm going to get $4 in That's return. That's a great card. That's a great card. So that gives me a lot more flexibility to spend money on good tokens that I can, you know, I can spend. So I'm going to do the next best option, which was use the super magnet to give me two coins back. I really like that. And now I also can see what your what the other cards are that Ryan had in his hand. So mm-hmm. I have an idea what's coming up. All right. So I think, I think, I think. I shall use, well, this one also gets me a point. So I think I will do that. So I'll get some smoke Good screen call. cleaner. Yep. Good call. Or some smoke screen. So, all right. So I think, ah, uh, man, this is really tough. So these are, so if you see at the top of my screen right now, I've got these, there's, there's the, there's the blaze burst blasters. These are the bad cards. These are the bad cards where if you draft them, it actually will burn one of the cards on the other. But I can't do that because I can't actually play them to where Chris is. So I can't. So I'm going to, so now that I have two bucks to my name again, um, I'm going to pick up the Posto Segreto, which is a Rome gear card. Um, and it moved the Caper Tracker three spaces towards me, uh, which also worked with the Soprano as well. So yes, yes. Um, yeah, I was, I was hoping that that would come back my way. All right, and now I can play one of these. I can, whoops, come on, send the move to the serve. For some reason, my, oh, I have to, re what? I have to refresh. Uh Sorry, folks. Uh Okay, there we go, and there we go, there we go. 
kids must be on the internet right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, I'm going to... I have no money, so I'm going to just burn a card. Mm. Mm -mm. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Because I do not have cash in my hand. I will... Well... <laughs> I do love the fact here. It looks yeah. So you're you're dominating right now. You have 22 points. I have a measly 13. So, uh, so managed... anybody who is betting with Ryan is doing real well at this point. Uh, I'm well. I already managed to get a set of purple, yellow, green. Yeah. For yeah. my uh, the gentleman. So that's that's four points right there. Exactly. And I have. I think it's also calculating like that. I have the Vatican. Yeah. And I yeah. have the the casino. Yeah, right. so that can fluctuate a little bit as the game and it, goes. And it will fluctuate. So once Chris starts playing to these other locations and bringing that mask to his side, the the scores will. So, But I need to be quiet and actually, <laughs> you know, I'll put a simple disguise on the Dawn. All right. So I think what I'm going to do here, do I take that? I mean, I only have a dollar. So I could either save my dollar and play a simple disguise, or I could spend the last buck that I have to get the grappling gun. And then um, there's always the option that you could discard the card and you actually get one dollar. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to play the simple dis... Oh, no, I should have not done that. There's no take backs. Oh, well, that was a bad move. Is there no... Oh, there's like a not a confirm. No, uh, yeah, I hit confirm way too quick. Ah. That's okay. That's all right. I was foolish. That's okay. Okay, well, maybe I'll start working towards... Lulling you into a false sense of security. <laughs> okay, so then you can see, like, over here, now we're going to go into another draft of... Yeah. And I think we only get... I think we only get two more yes. of these yeah. three. Yeah, so each turn it goes down by, by one. Mm -hmm. um, and this is very different than the last hand, so... This one is very different. Ooh, the actual I the Colonel. Okay. Or the I think illusions. I'm gonna play the conductor down uh -oh. to the Vatican. Oh, for every green card. Yes, and that plays in well with what the Vatican is doing as well. So Yes, because the Vatican, if you can tr oh right, every green card played to the Vatican pulls it. Moves that caper track as well. So so that's like double for me there if I can get some green cards. And in then play. each green card at this yeah. It's mm. worth a point too. So, yeah, telegraphing my play very quickly. Oh, there, score so. one point for each green card in your opponent's crew. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, that's what that little symbol is. That's so. what that little symbol is. Yeah, yeah. So okay. we'll see. We'll see how it goes here. Okay. So then, maybe I shall play. Hmm. No, I'm gonna play the illusionist. To oh my gosh, I don't even know where I want to play the illusionist. Do I want to play the illusionist? No, I don't want to play the illusion. No, I'm gonna play the illusionist, just in case any shenanigans decide to happen at the Vatican. Uh, so some burning is going on there, eh? Could potentially. Uh, could potentially. Could potentially. Okay, well, I was playing at a disadvantage for money last time, so I'm just gonna cash in as much as I can here. Throw the actress into the Vatican as well. Because uh, she's given me a coin, so I actually have some cash now. And I should have maybe the mm, the bon vivant, 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 bon vivant. Sure, let's let's put you over there because I don't have a guy over in that location. Yeah. So maybe I can you could just some... you could just leave it to me. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, I must play a card. Yeah, so now you get to play your, your gear first. Mm. What does this do? Oh, that's cool. I see. I see, I see. I've got some interesting options. Yeah. Half my hand is this multi-purpose shakedown belt which pulls the caper token closer to you. And also, if you win the location, you get an extra two points. Huh. Half your hand, you say? Yeah, there's, I got three of them out of the huh, six cards. That's, 
that's interesting information to know. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just telling you because you're going to get some of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You're going to get some of them. I don't know if you're going to yeah. get all. Yeah, maybe you might yeah. get all of them. Yeah. But I think I'm going to continue trying to get my. I, I'm going to try to get another set of tokens over here. Okay. Sorry, which one did you play there? You played the eavesdropper? I played the eavesdropper. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, okay, well, I think I will play a super magnet. Because, uh, again, money is key in this game. Money so. is key. Money yeah. is key. Okay, perfect. That gets me another yeah. one of those. And I will take this one that I don't have. Hmm. So I got a, th a set of three of each you of do. the tokens. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to play this here, and I can. I think I'll burn that card. Oh, oh that is fun. And that is a very cool graphic. <laughs> if anybody saw it, it actually literally burns the card. Ah, yeah. huh, that's interesting. And I have and to. And you have to return a good. I have to return my good. Mm. That was fun. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, then. <laughs> My gosh. These shakedown belts. And they don't cost any money to play. No, they don't. They don't. Um, let's do... See, these are very interesting hands. I played some cards where it's like, hey, I want some green cards, and you played some cards where I want some green yeah. cards, and we got, like, yeah. no green cards this time Yeah, there was, there was one in my hand, and <laughs> I believe that you burnt it, or you did something. I, or did I just burn it? I can't remember. You, I played it, I burned, you burned it. Yeah, and then I burned it. Yeah, that was yeah. the only green card that could be played. So, All right, back to you, Ryan. Back, back to me. Back yeah. to me. And let's just put... Another. Let's put one of these over here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start hmm, claiming right. those. I'm gonna start claiming the shakedown belts. Yeah. Gonna uh, shake everybody okay. down. Well, what do I want to do here? Do I want to play that? This doesn't get me. Yeah, I think I'll play that over there. I'll throw a shakedown belt over there and try to swing this back in my favor a bit. Ah, oh, man. Last card for you here. Last card. Rah. And each each thief can only have up to three gear cards on them. So yes, your yes. smuggler, for example, has all the gear that it can carry. Yes, um, if anybody can. Yeah. Uh, and Board Game Arena did a pretty good job with outlining the, the the slots to remind you that there can only be that many cards. Yeah. In the slots now. Oh my yeah. gosh! Do I save? I'm gonna save the buck. And I'm going to start. Well, let's just pull it back again. Another, another shakedown belt. Oh my <laughs> goodness! He's really um, good at shaking people down. Yeah, he really is. I mean, you're gonna if you win that location, that is so many points for you. So uh, now the good news for me though is that you only have two more cards that you can possibly play there. Yeah, so you can um, swing it. Yeah, I can try to pull it back. I kind of went way too heavy um, on the other location um, yeah. early on too. So yeah, actually in um, hindsight, actually in hindsight, I should have played that second shakedown one onto the casino. Yeah, because yeah. that's been very much competition over there. Yeah, oh, look so. at you, phone. Yo, you two are fun. The dame huh. and the saint. Uh -huh. Okay, so you get to pick one of these, and I don't get to. I have. I will not even get to see your other guy. Yeah. Um, so this yeah. is the final thieves that will be playing at these locations here. So. Yeah. Oh, do I go for the Damn. money or do I go for the? You know what? No, let's. Points. Points is the name of the game. <laughs> is that is that what it's called? I thought it was called caper. Oh, oh yeah, that's that too. <laughs> That too, yeah. Yeah. All right. So the dame is going there. Well, I'm going to play the tourist, Ooh. and she's going to hang out also at the Vatican, oh. and that just suddenly pulled that, that caper marker. That onto was a my good. That side. was a good. That was a good draw. Yeah. And I 
taking a look at this too, you had 30 points before I played that. So you yeah. just lost nine with yeah, that play. That was a so. big, that's a big swing. Yeah. Yep. So. Too many apples in one basket. Oh, boy, these cards. Um, okay, well, you did something like this earlier, so I'm going to spend a dollar to play a plasma cutter, which makes me four bucks. Beauty, beauty. Yep, beauty. I need the money. I and know. there's only one dollar left in Rome, so if Ryan makes more money, um, then it'll actually come from my account. But he that's didn't. Right. That, so that's, that's okay. right. That's right. Yeah, that's okay. that's a fun mechanic here that the the actual city has so many, so many. Yeah. So pieces. I'm gonna play a I played a skeleton key and I took another good. It's already a good that I had, which is not ideal, but it helps me try to lock down that location a little bit more. <sighs> Ryan's saying that the tourist is a great card. The tourist is a great card. It's it a, swings it's a, things. That's a so very quickly. big swing. That's a very swingy card. Yeah. But she does not give any money, and she doesn't earn you any points throughout the the game. So it's a little bit of both. So yeah, well, I think you've got that one because unless if I can get, I, d I haven't seen any cards that will drastically bring that back to my side. So <laughs> well, that's the hope. Yeah. And I just chose to ignore the casino because I knew that there wasn't too much that I was going to be able to do to fight you on that one. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's wait, 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 wait. Think wait, about, wait, wait. Think Whoa. about this. Whoa, row, row. Yeah, yeah. Get oh, that's you. that can give you some more points. All right, so this is coming back to me here. Um, what do I want to do here? This is not good. This card's <laughs> not great. Um, this is a neck and neck match right now. Thirty-one to really twenty-nine. Close. Okay, well, I think I'm going to play that, the wheels over there. And that the gave me wheels. a couple more points. Yeah, so that gave me one point for every gear card in my discard pile. Mm, and it says you have seven. Well, points. I have seven cards in my discard pile. Three of them are characters. Ah. Uh, so I have four gear in my discard pile. So that perfect. was a four-point card. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, I but shall. But it's close. It's 35 to 29 right now, so. Play you there. Grab one of those. Oof, okay. Well, uh, my choices are very thin here. <laughs> uh, but oh, this yeah, this, will is the also very, this is the very last round yeah, of the game. Yeah. yeah, but this will also help me. So I'll throw that down there. It gave me another point for my actress, so. Oh, so interesting. So, so interesting. And uh, I just really don't know what to do. I can't play either of those two cards because they're too much money. Well, you can discard it for yeah, a coin. But I can play it over here because that takes me a couple more points. Okay. All right. So do I want... Well, that gives me that. Oh, those are not great either. But let's play... Oh, I can play both of those. So I will play this one here. Which will give me a piece oh, of look artwork, at that. which is not great, but it hey, more points gave me some points, gave me points. So yeah, um, yeah. I don't think you can pull enough points. Oh, that nope. was closer than I thought. Yeah. What did we say the over under was? This is a uh, 70, 70, 75. And this was a 78 point game. Pretty good. That was close. Oh my gosh. So yeah, the breakdown, I got 14 points from the locations, which was massive. Yeah. Good. Uh, five uh, capers. For everybody. Thieves fourteen to nine gear five eight. yeah. The location, the location swing, throwing that tourist down at the Vatican. Yeah. Mm. yeah, when I saw that in the hand of the two cards that I had, I was like, "That's I have to go with that." That so, was a good one. Uh, and it just it, I was like, "Man, it depends on what gear comes up because that could change." Yep, absolutely. And well, <laughs> first game doesn't count, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> It's oh. like we, we did we did rock, paper, scissors today for, for something at work, and uh, the guy lost the first one. He's like, well, that was just the practice. And I was like, my God, come on. <laughs> right, right. Okay. So one nothing? One for nothing, Mr. For, Moore, for, one Mr. nothing for the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need some I need some heist. Well, how did I put it into the tweet? I can't even remember. Heist, hijinks, honcho. 
Who's going to be the yeah. head head hijinks yeah. honcho? Yeah. And right now, Chris is going to be that. Okay, I'm going to propose a rematch. Okay. And as I propose a rematch, I'm going to remind everybody to hit a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell because Tuesdays and Thursdays we are going live. And I guess we can do a random city again. Yeah. Oh, I guess that I guess that's is that. Oh, that's the only option. I am not allowed to change oh, cool. that. Ah, okay, that's all right though. Oh, and it says that I can't. Ch oh, there now I can. Yeah. Are have there been any cities that you have not played? I think I've played all of them. Ryan would know more than the other Ryan would know more mm -hmm. than I do. I but I think we've played all of them. So. I'm good with random. Yep. I like yeah, random. Great. Yeah. I like random. And then we'll just leave the we'll leave the um, scoring public. If we have to go to the tiebreaker to the third game, we'll we'll we'll, we'll hide we'll go that secret scoring. Secret scoring. Okay. I don't know if you're gonna be able to if you're gonna need the third game. I think. Oh, uh, oh wait. I think it's gonna oh, be... oh wait, wait. Cancel. I didn't invite you. Oh. Well, That's uh. That was that was rude. That was very rude. All right, there I'll you go. I oh, we almost had to watch me. We almost had to watch me play a game with. Wait, wait. How come? What? What's going on? Did it? Are you in the game? Oh, okay. I'm in the game. Yep. For yep. some odd no, reason, for some odd reason, wanted me to create another game. I almost started another oh, okay. game with a rando. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and you know, this already broke one of our streaks that we've had, where the first player usually wins the game, and. Uh... Oh. That's it's just something that we found with our plays. I don't think it was anything. It was just the way that it worked out was like first player almost always won. So. Oh, and we're and um, it chose Rome for us again. Rome for oh, very random. So we got the casino again. We got yeah. the, gala, the gala, which is a different one. Yeah, that one gets you a point for every diamond. Yeah, and this one, uh, the chapel, gives you two points for every one of your thieves. Oh, in your but crew. it's but it's only if yeah. you win, yeah if you win this location win the, and that, that location is only worth two points yep overall so no Rome specific locations this time yeah they're all the generic ones yeah, so that's all right okay let's see if I can um wait 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 wait, wait. oh my wait, gosh wait because I got the gentleman again in my hand <laughs> I want yep. to see if I can do it if again you can make it work if I can make it work again. Yeah, he also gives me a buck, so I'm going to try it out. Um, okay. Sure, and I'll put you at the casino. Right. Seems very fitting that the gentleman is at the a casino. Yeah, a drink in hand. He is ready to go. Um, hmm, okay. Do I... So last time I was like, I just want to do what, whatever you're not doing. Um, <laughs> with the placement of my characters, but I think... With what I have here, I'm going to play, also very fitting, the banker is going to be at the casino. Oh, okay. Yep. So we're going to actually so duke it out. We're going to duke it out together here. Okay, okay, okay. And then I shall try out this. I'm going to try out this barber. Where shall the barber go? To Seville. Why not? To the yeah. gala. To the gala. People need to have their hair done. They need to have fun. All right. Well, let's try the bon vivant. And <laughs> uh, you would think the bon vivant would want to hang out at the gala as well, or maybe the casino. But no, no, no. He's going to go to the chapel. Because good times, nothing but good times can happen at the chapel. Nothing but good times at the chapel. Yeah, and he's going to get married. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, everybody, if uh, that blew up some uh, microphone uh, speakers for you. There you go. And the mime. Right, so the, and the mime. So I'm, I'm trying something that I don't usually do is have yeah. starting with one thief in each location. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Um, okay, well, let's go with the cleaner. Also at the casino. Interesting. <clears throat> yep. yep. So we're going to try that there. Oh, yes. All right. Now I have to play a card first now, it says. Yep. And we're each so, starting this round with three bucks. Three doll hairs. All right. Um, whew. Well, this is not a good idea, but it's the <laughs> idea that I'm going. Oh, but 
Ooh, what do you have in your hand is the question. Well, everybody watching stream can see what I have in my hand. Yeah, I am not watching the stream because I want to be surprised. Exactly. So I think Incredible. I'm just going to throw down a shakedown belt over at All the right. casino. Okay, very confident. Uh, not really. Um, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I shall play... My opening move from last time is spend a dollar to get four dollars. Oh, nicely done. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do here is we're going to play this. I'm going to spend two dollars to make you lose four dollars because I burnt that card, which means that you lose everything that you just gained had with it. Yeah. So. And he's also then scored himself a bunch of points because. Yeah. Because they, uh, they paired well to dollars now. I... Which is double what I have, so. <laughs> okay, I will also play a shakedown belt over here. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Um, okay, I am going to play this, and... Um, hmm. I think I'm actually going... I'm going to do this, and I'm going to discard that to gain a dollar Ooh, okay okay and i then shall play hmm okay i'll play you there to grab a a diamond grab a diamond that's that's very good and then i'm gonna play that to give myself two bucks and which also moves the caper one space my direction. And the simple disguise. And, the, and the tug of war match. Exactly. Continues. Okay, well, this is perfect. So I really wanted. So in my opening hand, this false bottom suitcase or false oh. bottom briefcase was here, which pairs very well with my bon vivant. Mm -hmm. And it lets me take a good of any kind. So I'm going to take a diamond which helps for victory points, and it also helps my bon vivant to score. But I didn't want to play it on my opening hand, because if you mm. had a blowtorch, you could have destroyed it. Destroyed so. it, yep. And then we saw... So, everybody we saw, saw how that effective was only, that was. And everybody saw there was only one blowtorch. One, one blowtorch, and it got well used. Well, well used. But it's not helping my score at this point. You are doing quite well on, in the early goings here. Okay, and hmm, sure. Let's try that. Oof! Just throwing that marker down. Just so throwing it around. The, yeah, at the end of the first round, you are at twenty points, and I'm at a lonely thirteen. So, everybody who's what watching, do I do here? <laughs> look yeah, what's exactly. in my hand. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, uh, boy. Okay. Um, well, I think what I'll do here is I'm going to throw the Don down. Ooh, I like the Don. To the chapel. Yeah, the chapel. He he looks like a guy that's going to probably well, need some, and some speak, penance at the chapel. And, and speaking to that, like the, <laughs> oh, uh -oh. The, artwork, the artwork on this game is just <sighs> stupendous. Yeah, and we, we talked before we actually did the stream about just the presentation of this game and how Keymaster just knocked it out of the park with the box and just the quality of everything. Mm -hmm. um, seeing this game in real life is absolutely incredible. This is one of the best values I think that people can get in a, in a board game. Oh, the tourist. Oh, that's why I went. <laughs> she came back to haunt me. Oh, that's not good. But yes, uh, playing this game on Board Game Arena is not doing the physical production any justice because no. the like these uh, these caper tokens are nice, nice thick wooden pieces that are on there <clears throat> that go back and forth. The cards, oh my gosh, the card quality is stupendous. That nice little yep. linen finish to them, almost like a velvety like insert yep. that things yep. rest in. Yeah, and everything has its place, and it sits nicely, and it's just, it is, yeah, Keymaster, you guys really, you do some amazing stuff, and this game was just incredible, so. Yeah. Yeah. I concur with that yeah. one. Let's go with, let's put the, oh, I 
don't know what to do here. I'm going to put the illusionist over here. Ooh. Ooh, that's Let's see what that happens. Let's see what happens with that. Yeah. Oh, I do not All like right. my opening hand. Well, no? no. Well, the opening hand is okay. The opening hand okay. is okay, but I'm 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 pretty sure there could have been there, it could have been better. But I'll just put <laughs> I'll just put that there. All right. Sorry. What did you throw down there? You threw uh, down uh, the one dollar for four dollars. A plasma cutter, Ryan. <laughs> are you gonna are you are, ever, are, you, gonna are you ever going to learn that that plasma cutters <laughs> get burned? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, uh, what, what about a magnet? Can you burn the magnet? I don't think I can burn the magnet down, so. How is it uh, that you've gotten two blowtorches <laughs> and your opening hands in a row? <laughs> uh, pure, pure luck. Pure, pure luck. All right. Let's, uh, let's discard. It's kind of like what I was like, whenever somebody says pure something, I always think of like the yeah. Simpsons is like pure West. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just going to discard a card to make myself a buck. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, ooh, spend a dollar or spend two dollars. Wow, you have 31 <sighs> points currently and I have 12. I think there's going to be a tiebreaker. I I'm trying to put I'm trying to put my, I'm trying to put my foot on the gas here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, well, I could burn this super magnet to gain a dollar, or I could play it to make $2 and get some points too. So I think that's the better play. Okay. Oh my gosh. How much? You got $4. I got four bucks. Four you bucks. Four dollars. That I is am, crazy. Um, if I were a rich man, <laughs> idle, deedle, 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 do. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so... I, I don't know if it's awesome but uh it's cheesy oh my gosh okay let's just do i don't think okay i burn that card for a dollar okay well you are winning all three locations right now so i think i think that's the big that's the swing right now so yeah i think that the dawn is going to throw an incognito tuxedo down what uh, which will swing that towards me a little bit. Swing. Yep. I yeah. I needed the swing. <laughs> okay. So then I also need. Well, my uh, mime is just going to have a simple disguise. <laughs> just a very simple disguise. Very simple. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to throw a skeleton key down here. Which will get me a oh, set points. of three different trade goods, um, points, and it also yeah yeah, and it also helps for points as well. So yeah, that was it good. So twenty five to nineteen. All right. Oh, okay, what, what do, do we, we got? Do here? Mm, I don't oh, like I don't well, like either of these options. No, uh, you're oh, and you get to play first. So I'm gonna scroll down here and see what you do. Mm, I don't like. So I think I know which direction I'm going, but don't know what I want to really do. I think I'll just do it this way. This is your last thief. Oh, my gosh. That one, mm -hmm. I don't really... But this one could actually... There we go. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, let's try uh, that. Are you conducting things? Yep. Okay. Such, well, a, such a crazy crew. The mime, the conductor, and the illusionist. Yeah, just <laughs> hanging out at the chapel. So, well, I mean, I mine's not much better. The uh, the bon vivant and the don hanging out in the chapel. I really think. Look the at Saint this. To join them, so let's go. Yeah. So I have pulled momentum my direction here, uh, for the time being. Oh, those cards are unique. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> there, I like that unique. 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 Unique New York. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, all right. I think what I'll do. Whew. This is tough. This is tough. Because what is Ryan going to play on his turn? <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this card here. Okay. The skeleton key, which gives me another piece of artwork. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah. I'm going to play that and 
we're going to get rid of that one. Uh, I figured as much. I will return some artwork because it's not helping me too much. Um, but that is okay. All right. All right. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That helps. Oh, my goodness. I do not feel confident about this at all. Wow, wow, wow. Huh. Okay. Let's play that here which will help swing momentum my direction a little bit there. But this is it's not going well. Mm -hmm, I think there's mm -hmm. going to be a third game here. This, it's very, yeah, it's it's very swingy. Which way is it going to go? Yeah. Ah. I wish, I wish I never killed that fish. <laughs> Let's try that. Make okay. it a little bit more difficult. Uh, oh, geez, that is not healthy. <laughs> that is not healthy. Okay, well, that's free, so let's throw that down. I want... Yeah, I don't... I know what you're doing. I know exactly... Oh, I don't know what you're doing, because you have no money. I have, I have zero doll hairs. But there's a lot of money in this other hand here. Zero doll hairs, so maybe I am just going to. Whoops, I'm just gonna throw that. Just, 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 just whoops a lot. There you go. Whoops okay. a lot. Whoops a lot, sir. Whoops a lot. Um, I don't think I can win that location back, but I can't let you take everything here. Look at that. Yep. Okay. Okay. So then. Yeah. So hmm. that it is on. Uh, so right now we're tied 21 to 21, and I do not like my chances here. Yeah. Yeah, this is not good. I cannot win this. Oh, my gosh. So then I can go with. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's an interesting one, because I could either... Well, I have to swing it towards me. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think that's the only thing that I can do. Oh, no, Sorry. you took it by one point. Okay, hold on, Ryan. Why did I do... You, Wait, should I have done something played, else? If you had played the green card, what was that going to do? Because your conductor wanted green cards. My conductor... Oh, yeah, and it would have grabbed it another... And, and I would have grabbed a piece of... Yeah. And I would have grabbed a yeah. piece of jewelry. I think. Oh, that I just I misplayed that one. I think you did. Ooh, that was a very tight game, though. That so. was very tight. Loved it. Ooh, ooh. loved it. You do you want to do a third one? I do want to play a third okay, one. Okay, let's do a third one. Let's try to not do Rome if we can. But well, we can. Yeah, we can actually. The... Oh, look! I am now a caper enthusiast. Hmm. I am now. What does that mean? Did I? I must have played so many games of. So you've played so much caper. I've played that... so much caper. Yeah. Okay, so I will propose. Wow, that was a one pointer. So Chris that Morris takes down the challenge. <sighs> Two games to none. But oh, we take will try. That, take that, Ryan's. Let's All try. Of the Ryan's. Yeah. Okay, I think I've played a lot of Paris. How about let's try Barcelona? Barcelona. Sure, let's try that one. We'll go to we'll go to Barcelona, and we will hide our victory points Ooh, this time. Oh boy! Oh, I mean, I really loved being able to see the scores go back and forth. <laughs> oh, and I get to play first this time. Math, math is hard. Yeah, this way I have no idea. I'm not even going to math it out. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, wait. because I don't want you to get this card. Oh, is there already a game going? How come it didn't tell me? That I don't there was know. A game I'm going? here. I'm here. I'm here. It says that oh. you're there. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. Can't. Okay, wait. <laughs> it says that I'm in a game? It says that I, I see you as a player oh, here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Board Game Arena is doing something weird every now and then. But, huh. Okay. I am Can here. You, I am in. Are you here? Okay. I am right. in. I don't know what city we're in. Oh, we're in Paris. Okay, yes. Oh, oh. we're in Paris. Why did it not we're... choose Barcelona? I, I have no idea. Oh, my. Board okay. Game Arena. Come on, All right. Man. Well, now that you're here and you're sitting down and you can see this amazing play. Um... 
Oh, the tourist right off Ooh, the bat. Yeah, right off. The, I couldn't pass her to you, so. That's just that's just boating confidence right out. Yeah, she and she's immediately in the antique shop just finding souvenirs. Oh, wow, look at the rewards of each of the locations. They score yep. points for the goods. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's go with Art, them. Artwork or the uh, the statue things are, or antiques, are very, very important. So let's go with the, let's go with the auctioneer. Auctioneer. Oh. Hmm. I can't, I can't do a good auctioneer in front of <laughs> I have never been able to do that. Um, okay, well, I'm going to also steal that. Yeah, well, I can't do the quick voice, but I can be like, auctioneer! Yeah. I don't know if that's an auctioneer voice, but... Uh, <laughs> it's more like a smuggler. What else do we got going on here? Let's... Well, let's... Let's balance out that middle of a whoa, little whoa, bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just... You just trimmed my caper meter. Took a little mm-hmm, off the top mm-hmm, there, mm-hmm. Sonny. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we want the colonel? or Well, I have no money, so I believe I'm going to have to play the banker because um, I'm going to run into some serious cash some, flow some, problems. Some cash flow issues. Yeah, some serious cash flow money. And then we shall go with then the... I have either the cleaner or the chef. So the only thing with a tourist in an opening hand like this is it just telegraphs that play immediately. Yeah, and yeah. now she does no good. So that first game where I got her in my last hand was was just amazing. So Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the spread it out amongst three uh, locations okay. again. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um, huh. Whew. Okay. That's a, that's a hand, all right. That's that's what the That's uh, a hand, all right. See, I just I, it scares me when you say that. So well, I just um, mm-hmm. let's play oh you're playing first. I right. am playing first, so yeah. let's go with okay. that. Okay, well that helps a little bit, so I'm gonna play that over here. Okay. Oh, there are two blow, there are two blow torches. <laughs> Sugar. And, and I and I had the first go, so I couldn't react yeah, to what you were yeah, playing. Exactly. Exactly. So I was like, oh, okay. Yes. Well, something's okay. Well, here's okay, something's this a muck. Thing. Something's a muck. I'll try that what? one, and I will play. I will find you. Okay. So I'm gonna do something really cool here. And I'm going to talk it through for everybody. Is there a combo? I'm gonna, well, not a combo necessarily, but I'm going to play the Blaze Master 451. Oops, hold on. Blaze Master 451. What do you mean I can't burn anything? What do you mean you can't burn anything? It says, so if I, if I click on the Blaze Blaster 451... It says that there are no valid targets to burn. Uh, yeah, there's my grappling hook or my helping hand. Yeah, but that's weird. No valid targets to burn. Are you sure you want to play this card? Because my thought was if I play the Blaze Blaster, I could destroy one of your things, and then you can only burn cards that are on the top. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it would prevent you from burning my Plasma Cutter. But that's kind of redonkulous. I so I kind of want to just look up the rules on the yeah. Blaze Master here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring that up here. Do 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 do. Caper Europe. Is there a card clarification somewhere? Oh, okay. Oh, it has to burn a card at its location. Because I just burnt your card. Oh, okay. It did it didn't give me an opportunity to back out of it? It just placed it down and. Ah. went for the best so but okay. that's okay okay that's all right it had you yeah you can only burn at the location that it's at okay so knowing that but here's the thing do you want to burn it because i now only have two dollars to my name so well that's true but i only have yeah. one dollar uh you only have one so dollar to your name. i okay. will not let you have another burn blast <laughs> so did you just discard the burner yes yes i did Okay. Well, knowing that, then I'm going to play this card 
So you get more money. Two more coins. And it also moves that caper tracker one spot my direction. Because the banker, like, yeah. Let's, let's yeah. you do that. That's a pretty good, yeah. that's a pretty good play. A, a great move. It's a pretty good. Pretty good. Stealing oh, no, some did I do, art. Why did I do that? I, I think that's going to be like the theme of this game is why did I just do that? Yeah. This oh, this is a very – and this just shows the, the replayability of this game because mm -hmm. it is so – so every game is playing so, so different. Yeah. And you're just you're just sitting there <laughs> gathering money left, have, right, and I center. I have so much money right now. <laughs> money is so tight in this game. I got six bucks. I can buy anything. I can buy the world. Okay, let's just go with. I don't know what to do. Just put that over here. Just kind of get okay. a little bit more. Right. I'm gonna play this skeleton there. key down so I can steal that diamond. Oh, oh, that is interesting. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, all right, okay. So you get to go first. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, indeed. So let's go with. I don't know really. Each each of these is so different. Okay, I'll just put, <laughs> I'll the, put dame. the dame. The dame. The dame. All right. Um, who, the dame at what? Notre Dame. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh. The dame at Notre which, Dame. Which way do I go here? Let's try this. Let's put the madame in Notre okay. Dame. Oh, and so Paris cards cannot be burned. <laughs> yes, my Paris cards cannot be burned, and they're all worth a point for me. Okay, okay. Oh, interesting. I didn't do that because I wanted to, just because it was thematically um, really cool. There was another card I wanted to play, but... This one's also very interesting. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Well, do I do it do it, Ryan. Yeah, I just don't know what I want to do. Which mm -hmm. which look okay, I'll come over here. Okay. Okay. Um well I'm going to throw the actress down. Yeah, it's a good location for the actress. He, yeah. That's but then I do have to get other cards that are not yellow there, so well, I think um, those are can just be like any cards. It says any gear. Yeah, well, yellow gear and any gear. Uh, and I only have yellow cards there right now, so I kind of need some other stuff yeah. there. So I think we'll start it off with a skeleton key, and we will take the oops, the artwork, so that I have one of each. One of each. Yep. Um, I am going to grab another. Hmm. Hmm. Well, okay, let's go with I'll just grab some money. Take some cash. Good choice. Oh, um, interesting. False yeah. documents. Yeah. I'm gonna throw the plan cache down here. Go with that. Alright, that was quick. I think so. I think I know what I want to do, but it's whether yeah. or not I can actually pull it off. I can actually, actually pull it off here. I will then grab this one. Oof. Okay, I will throw down that one there. Uh, okay, and then I will... Oh boy! Oh boy! Mm hmm. Big brain move here coming up. <laughs> oh, that I, I have not had any of those tonight. So go like that. Ooh, the incognito. Okay, you are just. Oh, that leaves me with those. Okay, well I'll take money, I guess. And then I got a simple disguise, or a simple, or a simple disguise. disguise. Yeah, you left me with two magnets, so. And I think, you know what? I think I'll just. Grab a dollar. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. All oh. right. Okay. What, what was that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like either of these options right now. 
Uh, okay, well, I'm going to throw this guy down here and hope for the best. And hope for the best. Yeah. Okay, well, then I will balance. Oh, no, but that would give me a... Mm. Uh. No, I'm going to hope for the best over here, too. Ooh, all right. Sainting it up, hey? All right, Ryan, you are first. I am first. And oh, that is interesting. That's a spice. Have, that's a spicy meatball. Have I ever played Paris before? Because some of these cards I do not recognize. What? Well, do you see all the cards though when you play? I think it? you. I think you do. Yeah. Do you see all? I, maybe you only. Maybe you only miss like one or two, but not enough. I, that. Hmm. Well, let's go with. I just don't know which one I want to play right now. I just don't know which one I want to play right now. I don't oh, want to go I too... Like I don't want to go too much in that direction, so let's just... <laughs> what do I need? Okay, I'm just going to... Sure. And I'll grab... Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. So that one there. Okay, so this is interesting. Oh, well, that's not so interesting now. I say, you <laughs> well, um, I'm going to play this card, though. I'm going to play the Secret Shades. I now have oh, $9. That is, you have so much money. So much money. I am rich. I'm in the money. Yeah. Paris is the first level difficulty, so we've definitely okay. played it before. Okay. Yeah, it's just been, it's been such a long time, so... All right. Uh, no, I don't want to do that yet. No, I just want to. <laughs> yet, yet. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do. Well, if I if it ever comes back around to me. Yeah. If it ever comes back around to me, so I oh. guess I will just play. No. Hmm. Hmm. I'll just discard it for a dollar. Oof. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna play the Blaze Blaster. Yeah. And we'll burn that card. That was a pretty good card. It was a good one, and it moves that that track back my direction. So yeah. Uh, okay, so then I'll just push it back. Ah! <laughs> I'll play the stealth suit, and I will take the artwork, I guess. Alrighty, so then I will then play. Now that I, I don't know, know the blade, win that location back. Oh. Now that I know, yeah. well, you've yeah, got that's money. Gone. You've got money. I have... I've... Well, I've only got three dollars. That's not a lot of money. I'll take the one that gets me the point. But which oh. location? I kind of really want this location, though. So yeah, I'll move it do. back. Yeah, I don't think I can steal that from you. I have to. Yeah, I had to do that way. Yeah. So we're really just going to get one more card after yeah. this? Yeah, mm. which is not going to be enough to do the things I need to do. You do. are going to destroy me. Do the things. Doing those things you do. <laughs> oh, yeah, I cannot win this one. <laughs> this one is yours, Ryan. This one is yours. Ooh, okay, I'll... Yeah, I can't. Yeah, money's not worth anything at the end of the game. No. Nope. So I shall just put another. How come I can't put another card? Oh, I don't have any money. Ah, uh, that's why. I'm like, yeah. oh, you don't have any money. So just yeah. discard for a dollar. Oh. All right. Uh... Yeah, like, nothing. No, let me play it. Let me play it. Okay, well, that's. <sighs> I feel like I didn't. Oh yeah, see, then that took that took that didn't make it as much of a blowout. Yeah, the only reason I did that was to make the score more respectable. Um, there it is. I wanted to play it to a different location, but uh, that just made it so I didn't lose by nearly as much. Two really evenly matched Caper Europe players. Yep. Yep. Very close scores. Both very bad at the game. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just. I, I, I'll. I'll put my. Oh, oh I get. The, hey, I haven't rated this. It's a perfect app, isn't it? It's a perfect. Yeah, I. I, I went nice. five stars. I went yeah. five stars on it. So yeah, All it's right. a good implementation. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do enjoy this game. I wish I could get two player games to the table more often, but. Okay. Um, yeah, because I would I would totally pick this one up. This is a fantastic two player game. Two player games is one of our biggest jams. My wife is the reluctant gamer in our <laughs> in our household, but she is very very good at games. Yeah, she just doesn't she doesn't consider herself a board gamer, even though. Yep. She, but we have like a huge like I posted it on Twitter not too long ago, probably some towards somewhere towards the end of January where I posted our massive two player only game mm-hmm. collection of of our house and they get played quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. See, my wife is so reluctant of a gamer that she doesn't play games. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so that's how reluctant she is. Um but yeah, I would I there's so many great two player games out there, but it's just it's it's hard for us to get them to the table. So mm-hmm. um but yeah, I mean I do I love like Star Wars Rebellion is like my my two player favorite game um my brother and i have played many a game of that one so and good. i think we're pretty close to 50 50 on that one over the years so wow. um but yeah yeah this one here i think i think we played like six or seven games of it the first day that we got it wow um, good like yeah. it's back to back to because they're so quick they're so fast to play and and you immediately want to try it again so and it's yeah. easy it's easy to set it it's easy to mm-hmm. set up you just grab the deck the common yeah. cards shuffle them up Yep. deal them out and here you go yeah and exactly yeah so lots of fun i've never played the original caper and i don't know how different it is but um i have not played the original caper either um i wonder how much yeah i would wonder how much if you have played caper put it in the comments and how much of the dna did you see in this um playthrough or in this in this game because I'd be very. Was it a two-player game as well, or is yep. it? Yeah, it was a oh. two-player game as well. So, like I said, I don't really know what the difference was between them, but this one just seems to get a little bit more publicity. It is a little bit newer, but mm. um, yeah, fantastic. And the artwork in both of them is just exceptional. Like the characters all really come to life, and yeah, it's 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 an awesome little game. Yeah, really, really enjoyed that artwork. Really enjoyed yeah. the production. If you have a chance to check out the actual physical production on this one. It, or just go look at pictures. Just go look at the pictures on BGG. You're gonna see but it. But even that, I mean, like, just just everything is just you gotta so hold them. You gotta hold everything yeah. in your hand. You yeah. gotta hold everything yeah. in your hand. Yeah, yeah, it is it's amazing. Uh, they could have done just a really cheap production of it, and and it would have been fine. But uh, like I said, I, I've said this a couple times, but Keymaster really knocked it out of the park. They did a fantastic job on that one. I think I think they really want to show if they're going to produce a game, they're going to say, yeah, this is the way that a game needs to be mm-hmm. uh, produced. Cause I, yeah, I because I own Parks, and the one thing that really stood out in that one was the way the organ. I guess it's the organization of the game mm-hmm. inside of the box because it had an amazing organizer. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the same thing with this one too. Like everything, and just the fact that all of the spots where the cards sit are kind of tiered a little bit, yeah. so you can just push them and they they pop up nice and easily. So you're not having to like jam your fingers in there to pull stuff out. It's right. uh, yeah, just everything is it's classy, classy, really well done. That's a great way to that's a great way to describe it. It's a very classy production. It's a very classy yeah. game. Um, Go ahead and check out Caper. It is on Board Game Arena if you wanted to try out the gameplay for yourself before you eventually, like what well, we, what I did is eventually just actually went and got myself an actual physical copy um, of it because, well, it's actually my wife. I was actually playing it and my wife was looking at it. She's like, oh, that looks neat. I'm like, yeah, it's another two-player only game. She's like, oh, order it. <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> Yes, that's that's the big go ahead right there. That was so. the, that was the big go ahead. I was like, okay, well, yeah. just add it to the ever growing two player only section of our yeah. and two player only games that play in like less than half an hour is yeah. like a really big part of our jam. Yeah, I'm just taking a look on Board Game Bliss right now. So it's like it's thirty four ninety five, and it's an amazing value for that price as well. So, and that that's Canadian dollars. That's, that's can, Canadian dollars. So. Yeah almost free for your Americans. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
I can't help myself. This exchange rate is horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if it's really readily available right now. Um, oh. I, I think it's sold out in a lot of places. They do smaller runs of them, so um, I'm sure the Keymaster will restock in them again, but uh, I know that it's one of those games that comes in and out of stock a lot of times. So Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's 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 well worth it if you're into two player games and it's uh, it's quick playing, lots of replayability. It's just fantastic. Yeah, because there's the four different locations that you could be playing mm -hmm. in. Yeah, and even then, the order we just saw just the order in which things came out makes mm -hmm. you well, and the locations like what are you going to focus yeah. on? There wasn't yeah. there wasn't that extra pull in that last game. There wasn't the extra pull to your direction. Yeah, there was no yeah. way to kind of yeah pull back enough at the in the last couple rounds there. So, um, but yeah, it's it's great, and that's the one thing that you need to really focus on when you're playing your thieves down is, do you want to focus on characters that are going to give you points, or characters that are going to give you some money, or characters that can pull that um, that caper meter towards you, because uh, each one of them does something a little bit different. Yeah, and uh, which is it's, something it's really I always neat. pay. Yeah, I always pay attention to that too because yeah. what's yeah. the bonus that bonus points that that location is going to yeah. give you can mm -hmm. i win that and then can i also fulfill that bonus at the same time it's like yeah 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 it's it's pretty cool so yeah well well worth it for sure oh ryan had i didn't see this here had mentioned yeah. i think the originals rules were a little more convoluted this one is mm -hmm. near perfect there you go yeah there you go i don't like convoluted yeah. rules so yeah 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 so, um make sure you pack that game with you in a couple weeks there bro Oh yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Get an actual physical, and it's easy. That, yeah. it's easy to store in like a carry on and whatnot because the box is so oh, yeah. small. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like I said, it's great. So, yeah, yeah, oh. it's yeah, fantastic. Awesome. Cool. Well, if you have not already done it, I encourage you to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. We're going live every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, this upcoming Thursday, I'm going to be playing my one of my favorite. Actually, no, I'm going to say it right now. It's my favorite card game. I used to be a Magic the Gathering player way back in the day. I've, I've dabbled in collectible card games, but now I discovered Ashes Reborn, Rise of the Phoenix Born. It has now become my favorite dueling card game of all time. And I'm playing it on Thursday night with uh, another regular viewer of the show. His name is Vincent out from Quebec area he's watched every single one of my ashes reborn videos and so he's coming on in he's, nice he's coming on in we're gonna play that thank you so much chris for joining me again on this well here it's not cold it's actually quite <laughs> decent out it's it's lovely out here too so yeah yeah, I'm yeah. thrilled that, you know i don't i don't think winter's over yet i think we got another snap still coming but it's uh, not over I'll yet it. but at least it's not that huge arctic blast that came not too long just not too long yeah. ago yeah but thank you for joining me once again on one of these evenings it's always a pleasure great company as always hey thanks for having me i'm glad that i you know in, in some way, I'm very glad that the last one didn't work out for you. So I'm glad that I can say that I helped you kick off uh, your February two-player game. So um, yes. great. Good stuff. Good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. and then we're going to continue on. Uh, like I said, in two weeks' time, Chris, the other Chris that I know from the Tabletop Express, we're going to reschedule that. We're going to play Sobek Two Players, which is a Pandasaurus Games production that's also available on Board Game Arena and has a very lovely implementation but it doesn't do the actual physical production justice i think that might be a running theme <laughs> yeah I, yeah it's i mean it's, it's great that we can do these these things and they are done so well on board game arena but it's it's not like picking up real cards and uh mm -hmm. and playing them down and, so and, yeah. and playing with those huge yeah. chunky wooden bits and nice components yeah. yeah yeah exactly all right chris thank you once again for joining me it's been an absolute pleasure look forward to the next time that you come on the show and everybody else, I will see you on Thursday night playing some Ashes Reborn. Good night, everybody. See ya. Oops, and I wanted to do that one. <laughs>